The purpose of this video is to talk about equivalent resistance equations for both series and parallel circuits. Series circuits are defined as having only one path for charges to flow. Uh, the overall or equivalent resistance goes up or increases every time an individual resistor is added. In parallel with an inverse style equation, the overall resistance actually decreases the more individual resistors you add in there, which is kind of confusing. So let me give you an analogy. Um, with traffic moving through streets, I think toll booths help to take the place of resistors. If you were to add three of them in a series style, where every car has to go through each one of them with only one path, the overall resistance is obviously going to increase because every car has to go through every one. If you add them in parallel, where you get multiple paths, each individual toll is slowing down the cars, but because there's three of them where there's three paths, the overall flow actually increases, which hopefully helps explain why the total resistance is now less than it was before because of the multiple paths. Back to the equations, um, just going forward, uh, remember that series total resistance goes up because of one path. Uh, for parallel circuits in the equation, the total resistance goes down because of the multiple paths. Hopefully this analogy helps. Um, come back to class with